Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. How are you doing today, says the mess? I hope you're doing good. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Before we go into the word of God, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We exalt and glorify your name. We are grateful for the wisdom, the knowledge of your word, for making your word available for us to to, to, to deliberate on, to, to think about, to meditate on, to understand, to read, to learn, to know, to use it to know you, to know your will, your purpose and expectations of us. That we glorify your name and say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray that you teach us your word this day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, sis. And God bless you, miss. How are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope your family are doing good as well. May the Lord be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is um, for Christ Gospel Messages. And for Christ Gospel Messages. God bless you. In Jesus' name. In case you have not subscribed, I will encourage you to please subscribe to our channel uh go to our channel try to search for the link and go on youtube and subscribe to our channel and god bless you amen today we're going to be talking about the message tied to with reasons to share the word reasons to share the word see uh section three section three section three reasons to share the word section three and subtitled my father's business my father's business my 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 father's business so this is something personal you need to to make it personal okay you're going to understand more about it as we go into the word of god so a bible passage is taken from the book of luke chapter 2 from verse 41 downwards luke chapter 2 from verse 41 downwards reasons to share the word section 3 subtitled my father's business okay Luke chapter 2 from verse 41. His parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Lord of, of at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days as they returned, the boy Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother did not know it. Verse 44. But supporting him to have been in the complaint, they went a day's journey and sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Verse 46. Now it was that after three days they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. Verse 47, And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And his response was, and he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Verse 50. But they did not understand the statements which he spoke to them. But they did not they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. I pray that you will understand it today in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, it is very important that we un understand that indeed God is our Father. Jesus Christ has, uh, has used so many examples and illustrations just for us to be able to understand. Use so many examples relating us, uh, relating God to be our Father. So that we might uh, assimilate that idea and understand that yes, indeed, God is 
our Father. Jesus Christ used those examples, various examples, so that we might assimilate that idea, understand that idea, tap into that idea, like cleave into that idea, adopt that idea and begin to live by it. That yes, indeed, God is our Father. God is our Father. God is our Father. First um, Bible passage um, in support of that, like checking the examples of which Jesus Christ, various ways Jesus Christ has taught us so that we might understand, have that understanding, have that knowledge that God is our Father. First place, Matthew chapter 5 verse 16, it says, Let your light so shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father as a son, as a child, so that they may know what you are doing and like glorify, give praise to your Father. Wow, wow, God, I'm so, I'm so excited about this, your wonderful son, this, your wonderful daughter. I am so proud, I am so happy. Wow, I also want to be like this, your son. I want to be like this, your, this, your daughter. So that your Father in heaven might be glorified. Another place is uh, the last verse, verse 48. It says, Therefore you shall be perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Another supporting verse says from uh, chapter Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. It says, In this manner, therefore pray our Father in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, our Father. You need to know that he is your father. You need to understand that whatever you're doing, it's, you, you, you are indirectly, like either you're bringing that honor to God or you're bringing, you're making him to be disrespected by others. Of which as a child, as a son, as a daughter of God, we are not supposed to bring this honor to our father. We are supposed to make our Father proud of us. My Father's business. Let your light so shine before men, so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Taking the responsibility of making your father's work or plans to be accomplished. Deliberately taking that responsibility that yes, this is my father's plan. This is my father's work. This is my father's business. Like, it's, it has to prosper. If no one else wanna, wanna help or support my father in accomplishing his goal, I must support him. I must help him. I must assist him. His work, his plans has to be accomplished. For example, it is more expected, okay, a, a, a son versus employee right now, it is more expected of a son of the business owner, right? It is more expected of that son, of that child, or daughter, it is more expected of that child to oppose anything, anything that is going to destroy his father's business, that is going to destroy his father's complaint or organization. Either people or, or other um, employee are trying to like, like commit fraud. As a child, as the son of that of of the of the owner of that business, of the owner of the organization, you have to oppose it. You have to expose it. You have to stand against such, because it is your father's business. 
It's not their father. So they might, that, that is why they want to do whatever they like. But you have to make sure that your father's business continues to flourish, continue to prosper. And compared to employee right now, it is, yes, employees also expected because now you are getting paid. It is like in an ethical way, an employee is also expected to oppose anything that is going to spoil that business. But it is more expected of a son, of a child, because employee might be tempted might be tempted probably they want to bribe that person that employee employee might be tempted to consent to any type of temptation just for his or own benefits but as a child as a son or daughter you must make sure you stand against it no matter what offer might be presented to you your father's business must continue to prosper my father's business it is very important and this is on on the reasons to share the word of god it is very important that you take its compulsory mandatory a personal responsibility to yourself that yes my father's business must continue to prosper i may the lord prosper you in the name of jesus christ now what is your father's business what is your father's work what is your father's plan that you must make sure it has been accomplished what is this work what is this plan what is this desire what what is your father expecting you to do for him your father need your support that's funny, right? God need your support. Your heavenly father need your support. He, 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 he has some duties he want to he want to accomplish, he want to do, and he need you. You need to be available for him. You need to be available. I got a song, it, it says, I, I would do anything for you because you did everything for me. And we, that was in reverence to the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ on the ways to the cross of Calvary and even getting to the Calvary and giving up his life. All those pains he went through, shame he went through, he did everything for me. And if you, if you are a follower of Christ Jesus, if you have gotten that joy of salvation, you can also relate with that, yes, that he did everything for you. So what is your father's what is your father's plan and desire that you that he wants to accomplish that you need to be made you need to make yourself available to support him to accomplish? Second Peter chapter chapter three verse nine, the book of Second Peter chapter three verse nine it says, "The Lord is not slack. God is not slack. Your father is not slack concerning his promises." Yes, he, he has made a promise that yes, is coming. Jesus Christ is coming back again to take you home. He has gone to build a mansion for you. He's not slack concerning his promises. As men count slackness, as men understood slackness to be explained, to be described, God is not like that. But is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God wills, God desires, God expects, God is willing, God wants everyone, 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 everyone to repent. So, therefore, this is the reason why we need to keep sharing the word of God. Yes, you told that person before, yes, you 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 share the word before, you need to keep on sharing the word. Because uh, as the Lord is going to help you to talk to that person today, might be different from the way God is going to help you to talk to that person tomorrow. So whenever you have this chance, you need to keep on telling the person. You need to keep on using that opportunity to preach 
to talk to the person. What? Hey, what's up? How are you doing today? Oh, oh, you, you, you remember our discussion the last time? You just think about it, you know, you know, God loves you, man. God loves you. You need to start coming to church, man. I mean, you know, you know, like God loves you. Just, you, you can just come to a concert. Like, it, this is just like music. Like, just, just, we, we just, this is just a fellowship just to sing and just to praise God. It's not, it's just for an hour, just one hour. So this is, you know, you're not even like bringing into the, like into the Bible right now. You just, you just invite a person, just invitation. Previously you've been like using the Bible, right? But now it's just invitation, just invitation. So we need to keep on sharing the word of God. I pray may the Lord help us and may the Lord continue to make those avenues available for us, those means available for us and His grace and help by His grace that He might use us to make, use us to, 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 to share His word, to talk to people, to, to win souls to Himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Reasons to share the word. Section 3, subtitled, My Father's Business. I pray may the Lord help us, may the Lord give us that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Make it your personal responsibility that yes, this is my father's business. I must make it prosper. I must continue to support my father in his business to accomplish his plans and work. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 God is not slack concerning his promises as men count slackness but having long suffering toward us not willing that any should perish but that all everyone to come to repentance because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever Beliefs in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. May the Lord bless you all for your time and likewise your attention. Reasons to share the word of God, section 3, my father's business. God bless you. This is Am for Christ, gospel messages. Thank you.